Yo, welcome to this weird video. This is different, right? Uh, we are going to be reacting to the Elden Ring DLC trailer. Well, I have already reacted to it, but we're going to be doing a breakdown of the trailer. We're going to be going in depth on the analysis and analysis of this trailer and just kind of picking out stuff and seeing what's going on. Uh, yeah, let's just uh, get right to it. Okay, so first off, right here, we have a. Uh, this is like the most obvious one that we have right here. I'm um, not too sure who this is. Um, starting off in Mog's Mog's uh, palace, the Mog Dynasty music mausoleum. Um, it's quite Pure clear and radiant. I believe this might be like I was thinking to myself. This might be the like. I don't know if like Melina is going to be like a, a different version of Melina will be in this. Um, so like we have Melina in the base game, but we might have a new version of Melina for this DLC. This could be like the new Melina in this DLC. Who knows? It's, it might be a secret character. From, this, from the looks of things, we enter the DLC through uh, Mikula's Mikula, hand from within the uh, the egg right here. Um, I think that's a popular theory. I think every, everybody thinks that. I think everybody agrees that this you, you have to you have to come here you have to defeat mog um and then the dlc will be accessible good but there's one thing interesting about that that um people might not realize uh the level the recommended level for mog's palace is 100 so you, they want you to get pretty late game not to mention like if you don't do online and the invasions with the uh Vare's quest line the only way to get here is when you get to the consecrated snowfield which is, you know, late game, like you're getting to the Halig tree and doing millennia. So, um, yeah, this is like a level 100 area. So they want you to, so the DLC is going to be pretty, pretty um, high level, I think, from the looks of it. If, if we have to enter through here, then it's like a level 100 DLC. So that's pretty interesting. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think many people realize that. You need to be like, a, uh, I mean, most people are level 100 anyway, but this, this, everybody thinks this is like, um, Somewhere we already know. I think this is just totally new. Like uh, I, I feel like this this whole landscape is just new, man. It's not. This isn't. This isn't. Um. This isn't Lengel. This isn't Leonia. This isn't Caleb pre nuke. Like this is just new, man. And that's okay. Like it's okay to have. It's okay to have things that are new. Like we don't. We don't have to have old areas return like from a past version. We don't need that. Um. This is just a new area, which is cool because I want to explore new areas. Ah, so this right here, this right here, this is, um, this looks interesting. If you look at the ruins, it looks very, um, I want to say this is very Celia, Celia-like ruins. You know, like the town of Celia, the sorcery town. The ruins look very similar to the town of sorcery. And maybe the village outside Rayo Lucaria. Like the little the gated village where the Alb Albanoric so all hanging out, you know, kind of looks like that. And then you got this little pillar right here. Um, if you look at the mouse, you've got this pillar right here. This looks like it could be. I want to say the map. This looks like the map towers that you get the maps. So I think you come here for the map. Uh, this shot right here. This is the classic Leon Leonia uh, shot that they did in that in that like the one episode of the trailer. Looking out at the other tree, you got the, all the things on the side. This looks nice. So here we go. So this is um this is something that's interesting. So because Miyazaki said this is like the shadow of the earth tree, right? So basically above here, whatever this is, this land, it's like underneath the earth tree. Right? So the, the shadow of the earth tree is literally this is in the shadow of the earth tree. Whoever what that whatever that means, I don't know. Nobody knows. Um I'm guessing that this is like this is like a land that's just hidden. It's a hidden land away in the shadow of the earth tree. And like this is like the roots up here. Like this is the earth tree. And it's like this is connecting down into this like um, alternate like world. Right. So you have the earth tree here. So I'm guessing like whatever this is like above here, you go back to the lands between underneath by the shadow of the earth tree you have this like this world um this looks like a rune um i want to say this is like some sort of rune might might not be might just be some sort of interactive thing but it does look like a rune right see how close this is really close to the tree this is quite close and then you can see like the tree the golden uh the golden liquidy uh, stuff is kind of pouring into this like tower here 
Um, you can see that, like, if you go back here, look, it goes it goes down, perfect. It's cent central into this tower here. So we, this is probably going to be, like, the main area uh, of the game, or the end game area. Who knows? Uh, yeah, we've got some cool gladiator guy. Right here, new weapon, new armor. This looks pretty sick. I like this gladiator armor. Yeah. Yeah, I've noticed people talk about this logo on the sword. This logo here, keep in mind, because this logo comes up quite a bit, this um, tilt. This hilt symbol right For The new Havel, the new Havel, the new Havel. Everyone's been saying this is Havel, man. Listen, just because it's rocky boulder armor, I mean, it's Havel, man. Relax. But this is one going to be one Poisy boy. This is like, this is like jar armor, bro. It's like the new jar, because the bro's got the big part. Look at this. We got the, we got the, the sleep. I want to say this is like this. I don't want to say this is the sleep swamp. There might be some sleep area. I'm not too sure who this is, but they're obviously affected by the sleep. Um, I'm, to I'm tilting my head to try and get like a good look at them. I can't tell if that's a mask. It looks like a mask. I don't know. No, it's not. This is an actual character. This isn't a mask, but they got like a scarf around their head, I think. Blood must. This might be hair. I don't know. Very reminiscent of Ray Lucaria. This area. Yeah, if you look at the cages, the lights, the blue lights, it's very Ray Lucaria like. Blood of your fellow. I'm really not too sure who this is. People theorize this might be. Um, a relative, relative of Ranala, maybe. Maybe Ranala had a brother that nobody knew about. Maybe this, this could be Ranala's brother. Um, I'm not too sure. Nobody, nobody really knows. Uh, I get, yeah, I don't know. This is an interesting one. This is just a new character, maybe. Ah, uh, yes, the 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 death blight swarms. We love the death blight, and yeah, they're everywhere. This is it's interesting. It's interesting to look at the landscapes. Very overgrown, very swampy. Um, but yeah, I think this is definitely a, a death blight. It has to be, right? If this is a normal swamp, fair enough. But I wouldn't be surprised if it's like a death blight swamp. We got this guy. Okay, keep keep in guy keep in, keep in mind this guy right here. This guy is important because he's gonna come back later. We're gonna, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna see him again. We'll get to that. Um, and then over here, this is the most important like character in this painting. Who is this? Is this is Mikola? Is this a young Mikola? Who is this? We don't know who this is really, but he will he will be coming back because because keep in mind this logo. See the logo again? Same as the hilt, the sword hilt from earlier with the gladiator guy. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure who this is. I really don't know who this is. It could be Mikola. I don't really have much to say about this, but this is a really cool shot of the jars. Um, looks like it's gonna be a parkour puzzle. So of this like uh the fiery ruin chasms like um the hero graves that's it the, the hero graves looks like there's gonna be some sort of hero graves here with these never this is interesting this is very interesting you see a very crumbling azula type look with these floating stones and it's like big big alice right here also i'm not too sure what is going on here um but it looks pretty cool, like up here with the rocks floating and stuff. Peek up to the, the peak up here. The same. They just happen to be on the Fire Giant 2.0. Listen, just because it's big, just because it's a, just because it's big and it's on fire. I don't know why everybody come to the conclusion as Fire Giant 2.0. Um, it's it's literally the Wicker Man. If you if you look at like the Wicker Man and the branches all stuck together and it, and it has a face, it's just some Wicker Man. Like it's it's very it looks cool. Looks very cool. It looks like, it looks like it's, it's gonna be a tough boss, right? I, I, I was, I was fine. But yeah, it's just it's just it's just literally just like a, um, a brazier. It's just a giant brazier. It's just on it's just on fire and it's alive. The brain suckers, the brain suckers. Oh the leeches, the leeches. Bro. Oh they actually look really weird. I never noticed this before. They have like eyes. Like on the on the like four eyes there. That is really creepy. Oh hell no! These these guys are gonna be um. Oh yeah, these guys. <laughs> oh yeah, these guys are gonna be really weird to deal with. I'm gonna hate the gravitation. These leeches. Um. Four eyes there. Now this, I'm really interested in this. This is one of the. See, I thought this was. I thought this was like, Alakef 2.0. Right? But I looked closer. This guy is creepy, man. So it's very reminiscent of um. People are saying it's like grafted and stuff. It's very. Re it's not grafted. It's more reminiscent of a Chinese dancing uh, dragon. Um, I don't know if anybody knows what those are. But it's like where the um the dancers 
they all um, hide under this cover right here. There's got multiple legs here. They all hide together and they have the mask at the top. You, if you actually look at the head, you can see it's being grabbed. You can see hands here. Like it, this, this head is being grabbed at the front. Right, you saw they put the jaw in place. It's like there's something that on under this. There's people. There's some sort of beings or people under this controlling whatever this is. It does look pretty creepy. Like this jumping in the air going to bite you. Oh my god. And then, uh, is this death blight? It looks like death blight, right? Like death blight breath. Oh no. Although it could just be like wind. I don't know. Smoke. We'll have to find out. People are saying it's, it's Death Blight. It looks too grey to be Death Blight. Death Blight is a black colour, right? Like a black yellow. This is grey. This doesn't look like Death Blight, but it might be. And then the lightning attacks as well. This is pretty cool. And the most interesting character of all. Wouldst thou truly lordship sanction? So oh wow, this guy right here, Mezna. This guy, for those, so for those who don't know, this guy's called Mezna. He, um, his name was revealed in the collector's edition of the DLC. Uh, Mezna, the Impaler. Now, uh, people are theorizing that this guy is potentially millennia's. I want to say. I don't want to say younger or older brother, um, but some sort of relation to Millennia and Mikula. Uh Obviously, we've got or some sort some relation to Radagon. Um, as you can see, he has the red hair, the yellow eyes. Um, Millicent had the red hair, yellow eyes. So he obviously is, is some some sort of relation there. We also have the M in the name. So again, another M, Millicent Mikula. S, S, no, you know, like, it makes sense, right? He's some sort of relation there. Um, but he did some, he has a serpent thing, like, it's the snake stuff. Of light. It's very, like, it's very, it's reminiscent of Rykard, right? And apparently this guy is, 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 is a sinner. I think people, he, he's a sinner to the earth tree, apparently. Which is like very, you know, it's like blasphemous, right? It's similar to our card. So I think this guy is on his. Maybe he he's related to. Could be related to Radagon. Could have some relation to Rykov. Um, with a serpent. Maybe he is. Maybe he was. Working with Rykov. Who knows? But this guy is the. Uh... If we go off of anything, if Millennia is the hardest boss in the game, quote unquote. And uh, she got the collector's figure. Then this guy gets the collector's figure. Yeah, I mean, this guy's probably the hardest boss in this DLC. So get ready. And then here we go. The new weapons and the new Ashes of War is about to be shown. Probably the most, uh, the most, like, exciting. At least for me, this is the most exciting part of the the trailer that we got. New katanas, new move sets potentially. With, um, I want to say that's a quick step, but it's not quite a quick step. It's a quick step to the side with an attack, followed up. It's, it's so it's not a quick step. It's like a it's a quick attack. I want to say like it's a quick step with an attack to the side, boom, and then bang with the backhand. So that is a new that that is an Ash of War right there. That's a new Ash of War. Mm, these look pretty cool. I'm not too sure if this is an Ash of War or if this is the weapon itself, the throwing knives or the throwing daggers. These look really cool. I think this is this is something that's like been needed. Really don't know if this is a skill. Um, but it looks like it looks good. It could be a skill. I think it is. I think it's an Ash of War. That uh, probably gets thrown put on daggers. Throw knife or something like that, you know? So that could be a, a, a dagger Ash of War. Most likely. But yeah, very, very interesting. This looks pretty cool. This new incantation. You can tell it's an incantation because uh, there's a seal in the hand right there. It's glowing yellow. Hands right there, boom, boom. Um, it's like a... I want to say it's a sleep incantation. Pink butterflies. Pink, the pink, purpley. 
explosion right here. This is a, and you can see the enemies kind of go down to the knees. Uh, when it explodes. So they go like downwards. Like they got hit, but they didn't take damage, you know? It's like sleep. It was a big sleep burst. So you know Nebula on the Astro Wing? The, um, the, uh, what is it? The Astro War on the Nebula. The Nebula Astro War, sorry, on the Astro Wing. This looks like the version of that, but for incantations. Or as an incantation. And for sleep. My favorite, my favorite thing in this trailer right here. And I think I'm pretty sure people really like this. So. This is some Sekiro Senpo Temple Combat Skills right here, bro. Go, boom, boom, boom. Bang. Whoa, whoa, that is, that, that is just something else. But the triple windmill kick. Boom, boom. This is so good. This is so good. This is so good, right? Like, like melee fist builds and now viable with this, this, uh, these actual, I hope they have not just this. I hope they added a bunch of Sekiro combat arts as actual. That would be so good. If you, it's like golden things floating underneath you as you do it. It looks really nice. Like you're flying in the air. Like bang, bang. Bang, it's just so good. It's so good, man. And we have a flight. We're throwing this flying pot. I'm interested to know if this is a consumable or is this like a weapon itself like what do you do to equip this this has to be a consumable right you just you just have this stuck in your back in your in your backpack i don't know we'll see um it looks pretty interesting right? bang a big area of effect oh i mean this is pretty cool as well this is pretty cool, man. This nice heavy knight armor. This black knight heavy armor with the gale oh, crossbow. To know. The repeating crossbow. Oh, no. oh. This looks so nice. There's one thing I'm really hoping from this though. Is please. Oh, I can't be the only one who thinks this. Please add scaling. Please add crossbow scaling. Please, Miyazaki. Please, I beg. Please, I, we. Why do why do crossbows not have scaling? Come on, Miyazaki. Why do they not have scaling, man? We need scalings. Please, please add scaling to crossbows in the DLC. You're gonna be adding a crossbow like this. You're gonna be, you're literally adding girls crossbow. There's no way you can't. Add. Please, from software, please fix it. To know. I want to do a dual wheel crossbow build so badly. Make it scale with dex or something, please. And strength. This is cool. This is cool. This is a. Uh, this is um. I want to say it's like the dragon, out incantations, but it's the rune bear. Just what kind? It's a rune bear. Omen version, like red hair. There's a horn sticking out. Red hair, horn sticking out. Yeah, I want to say this is the rune bear raw incantation. Similar to the dragon. Just what kind? Make Now this probably the most beautiful scene in the whole of this trailer. This field of blue with this red dancer, reminiscent of the blue dancer charm. Um, in this field of blue, but the red, you know, it's like uh, I'm not too sure if this is like a current, more like a different version of the blue dancer, the you know the red dancer, but um, new weapon maybe, new new scimitar curved sword type thing. Very cool uh, move set as well, spinning around, spinning around as you attack with it. This is cool. We have like a hog rider, actual hog rider with the gravity sword here. Is this a, is this a lance? This is like a gravity lance now. So this is new. This might be like the this DLC's version of the dragon riders or the tree sentinel dragon riders, whatever. Um, Draconic tree sentinel. That that was his name. Might be this version. This DLC's version of. Damn, so he's, dri he's driving a, a giant hog armored up with his gravity lance. So that's pretty cool. Now these giant hippos with death blight. What well, seems to be a variation of death blight. Really not too sure what this is all about. But this 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 is death blight. This is the same um when you get death blighted, it comes out with these like fawns and stuff. Out with this like weird things on the side, kind of, you know. 
like little hairs on the side. It just looks very ugly, you know. It looks very ugly because it's deathblind. It's deathblind. New variation. Does somebody want to explain to me why Koz, Orphan of Koz, and Radan had a baby? Made this, man. Orphan of Koz and Radan had a kid. They made this monstrosity. Like, what happened here? What happened, bro? What is this? He's got the placenta. He's throwing it. Yo, Le was it? What was uh, Radan's horse's name? Leonard. You know, uh, what's going on here, man? And then it's got like the little the or has a little head. Those strip. Ah, yes, this is it. Remember the old guy from the painting with the yep. You got the same. Is is this guy? No, this is the most interesting thing I want to talk about because no one seems to be talking about this, um, which is very interesting. So this is the same guy from that painting. Right? What I haven't seen people pick up is this thing inside of him. This this golden thing that you see here. It is it is it, it's the Elden Ring. This thing stuck inside of him is the same um, material. Or rock or magic that had uh, Marika up on her cross. It's the same. But this guy got stuck in the st stabbed in the head with this, and it's gone through all his entire body. This is a, this could be this is a piece of the Elden Ring or something related to the Elden Ring. This is this is this is an a piece of the Elden Ring. Like Marika was up on her her one. And this guy's got a piece of it in him, like. Yeah, I, I haven't seen people talk about that, but uh, this is the same. It's the same like material, the same rocky, golden, rocky um, substance that America was on. And he's putting it out of him. So this could be a boss. Who knows? Could be. It feels like it might be. And then, uh, of course, Mesna. Mesla, yeah. Mesma. Boss fight is looking absolutely insane. This guy's gonna be the free phase boss fight, hardest boss fight in all of Souls games. Probably. Probably. Who knows? His little snake looks cute though. Look, you, you see the little snake here? It looks pretty cute. He's got it got it wrapped around him. Little buddy. This is probably gonna like this little this this little bro. You you got you know this guy's gonna get like cheap bites in. Probably builds up poison or something as well. This little, this little, yeah, yeah. I don't want to say it. He's too cute. I can't call him anything. But you know he's gonna try and bite you during throughout the fight. He's gonna like do little bites at you and stuff. That would be cool if it does. It does do that. Come now. Touch the new shield. Um. What seems to be a new shield and some sort of shield spear. Because you can attack with it. Look, you throw it into the air. You do, this looks like it could be a special weapon then, if you two-hand it. It has like a heavy attack, that's probably like a special. Like a charge forth with this this shield spear. Touch the river and travel to the realm well, of shadow. I will not be And here it, there it is. There it is. What we've been waiting for, man. The, um, the Crucible Knight. The winged attack. So they do when they when um, the crucible lights fly up in the air and they do their little like dash attack towards you. Maybe finally got that as an incantation. Meet again. There's one thing that I think people picked up here: the person talking over this battle. Touch the withered arm and travel to the realm of shadow. I will not be far behind. May we meet again. The lady talking is Nefeli. Fetty Lou. I don't know if anybody picked picked up on that, but the the, but the person speaking there. This is Nefeli Lou speaking. Travel to the realm of shadow. I will not be far behind. May we meet again. So Nefeli Lou is gonna have a, a part in uh, in this, which is interesting because she didn't have her uh, her like story finished off. You know, like she had a bit of a story. She, her story stops with Kenneth Height and Gostock in Stonevale. And I guess we have 
Well, I want to say this is Mikula, but people have um, been saying it's not Mikula. People are just saying it's Godwin, which is an interesting theory. I mean, I would expect it to be Mikula because Mikula's physical form is like messed up because of Moog, right? And then this is his like spirit coming back. You, you guys know that Godwin's spirit is gone. Like, like Godwin's spirit is dead. His body is only only lives on through death. So this can't be like it can't be Godwin. Like the whole the the whole DLC is about Mika. You enter through Mikula's hand, and then after you defeat um, Mesla, um, I'm guessing like Mikula is free as a spirit now, and he tries to heal the tree. Yeah, like this this corrupt tree that's like bleeding almost. Mikula is gonna heal it. From it looks of it, because look, all the golden juice that was falling out is gone, and the white. This, you know, we all know this is like the death color, right? This is this is the color of death. See all these rocks falling from it, like almost like he's he's finally killed the tree, you know? Like the tree was in pain, it was bleeding, it was suffering. And like Mikula is finally like set it free. It's it's kind of like the vibe that I'm getting from that. Well, that was a very interesting, like, trailer, right? There's a lot, a lot going on. Um, I'm hoping that down the line we get maybe more, more trailers um, in the next couple months or whatever, you know. It would be nice to have a part two to get more information. But, um, hey, I mean, for now, this is what we've got. I think I did, I think I did a pretty good job of um, picking up stuff and seeing what was going on uh, in that trailer. Um, if I missed anything, feel free to put it in the comments. Let me know. If um, I missed anything personally, if you guys picked up on anything that you think or you want to share your own theories, go ahead, put it in the comments below. And um, I'd really appreciate if you drop a like on the video, hit the subscribe button, of course. Um, if you want more videos like this, if you want me to do more in-depth yeah, Elden Ring videos, analysis, analysis videos, I'll see you guys in the next video, I guess. So, hey, take care. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And, uh, hey, peace.